What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Weekly Flare Podcast, episode 45. I'm your host, James Walter, and with me is the other host, Mr. Chris Garcia. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. This will go up on Friday? This will go up... Uh, prob- no, I'll try and do it tonight. Tonight? I think I'm going to do it tonight to give everyone a little Thanksgiving gift. Also, because I don't think I'll want to do it tomorrow night. So, no, I probably won't be online tonight then, because it takes a while. That's fine. Because I, I like to try and get everything, like, really nice. I want to work on some new, like, editing to try and, like, get the quality of the audio better. Mm-hmm. Like, if you listened to last week, you probably noticed that the audio was louder. But it was clipping a little bit. I noticed that you had the sign that said... Yes, uh, uh, that the it, audio the, was kind of garbage. We are, we are working on the audio. The audio was kind of clippy last week. So hopefully I fixed that this week. All my tests I did before we started were good. So hopefully that's good. Also, if you watched YouTube last week, we were kind of blue. And glitchy. Yeah, so hopefully I fixed that also. But like I said, we're working on it. We want to get some better quality stuff going for you guys. So you guys should donate. Yeah, actually, I had the soundboard, the soundboard I want to buy picked out. I just got to save up the money now. So if you want to help us get to better audio quicker, more quickly, no, quicker, then you can go to patreon.com slash theweeklyflare and donate a few bucks. And we'd really appreciate it. Right? Yeah, All of right. course. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Chris. I mean, Thanksgiving's coming up tomorrow. It is tomorrow, yes. Hanging out with some family. Or it's today or yesterday, depending on when you're listening to this. Or last week. I don't know when you listen to our show. But, um, Chris, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Uh, I'm going to some family in Henderson. Cool. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do anything. Probably going to eat. I'm driving separate because I've got a meeting at 8 o'clock in the morning on Friday. Do you have to work Friday? Yeah. Uh, All the cool kids work on Friday instead of going to spend their money. See, so do you have any Black Friday deals? Uh, if I go Black Friday shopping, I will do it on Amazon this year. Gotcha. Do Cyber Monday? I have. I don't actually get into Cyber Monday. I've done the Black Friday shopping before, and I've gotten some pretty good deals on stuff. But there's nothing this year that I saw that I wanted. So pass. Going to work. Anything? Not nothing picked out. No. There. Was, I mean, I'll, I'll pop open Amazon and see what they have going on. I know they've been doing deals all week, but I didn't. I haven't seen anything nothing, that was like, oh, I need to out. get this. I might see if that watch goes on sale. Which one? The one you have. This model year is definitely on sale. I saw it on Amazon today. How much? I don't know, like sixty dollars or something like. That. I might pick it up. It was. A, I think it was one of the flash deals, though. Any Prime? On Prime? It was on Prime. Awesome. But I don't know if that was like that was one of their daily deals, so I don't. It might be over now. Mm, I'll check it out. All of their deals are daily deals. So that's I'll check how it they out. do all their stuff. You know, they're cool like that. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Uh, you know what else is cool? What's Chris? that? Giving people free food on Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm glad you said that. I know, me too. We got some good stories here. I was we actually going to say the other story, story no, first. No, we're doing the, this story first. Well, because it's Thanksgiving? Because oh, it's no. Thanksgiving. I don't want to open up Hillary Clinton's website. <laughs> wow. Anyways. Well, there's that. Yes. Michigan. We've had a lot of stories that came out of Michigan. Well, there's we a had, lot of people in Michigan. Exactly. We've had the people who were uh, shoveling snow. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had some hospitals that did some That's good because things Michigan's there. the only state that gets snow. No? Oh, no. okay. But we did have the hospital that did some pretty cool things up there. So a lot mm-hmm. of stuff has come from Michigan mm-hmm. um, that we've reviewed. Yes, a lot of stuff. <clears throat> now, this Thanksgiving, uh, Mr. George Demo Pelos, I don't know. My, my, that's my friend's last name. I still cannot say it. That's terrible. D- Demo Pelos. Oh. Oh, we'll no. say that. Anyways, he's making sure that everybody in his community is fed. So he has stated that his restaurant will be serving free food... Um, for those who are planning on eating alone for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Now, he's been doing this for a few years now. Mm-hmm. And uh, he has a sign up, I guess, in his window saying, if you're alone on Thanksgiving or you don't have food, come in and eat for free. He's doing it all day on Thanksgiving. Uh, I guess so the community he's in is actually a pretty good income community. But the surrounding communities have like a lot of really high population of homeless people. Mm-hmm. So he does it, reaches out to them, helps them out. Now, uh, pretty awesome. George, he was born in Greece. Yes. Uh, and and so he came to the United States when he was 23. Mm-hmm. But him, he himself was also homeless. Mm-hmm. So um, in the past decade, he serves about 75 to 100 people each year. Uh, so 
that's not only good for those people; it's also good for his business. I mean, if I ever, I think, mean, he's he he, you know, he makes plenty of money during the year. He said so. Yeah, it's definitely. I mean, has worked out for him, giving back to the community. They've definitely supported mm -hmm. him. This is a restaurant that I would visit if I was ever over there, just to give him some support in what he's doing. Just walk in, give him a high five, walk out. Give him a high five and order some to eat. Oh, you'd order some food also. Yeah, and probably give him a little extra. Like a tip. He, uh, but the sign on his door says, George's Thanksgiving Day Dinner. If anyone is home alone, come eat with us for free all day. Thursday, November 26th. So, um, there are 86, a little over 86,000 homeless people statewide in Michigan. Uh, and 34, a little over 34,000 uh, in the Detroit metro area. So, yeah. Lots of people around him to help out. So that's really cool. That's Love awesome. It. He's done it for a while now, so like about a decade or so. Yes, and it's finally come to the point where he is finally recognized for something that he I should. think it was more just like someone was walking by and saw the sign and thought it was interesting. So like, you know what I mean? It's not mm. like he's trying to get recognized or no, anything. No, definitely just, not. He just someone happened to be walking by and took a picture of it. So He should have been recognized a decade. Like We're all hearing years about ago. it now. Mm-hmm. It's cool. Cool. Now. You know what else is cool? What's that? Same segue as last time. Different ending. Star Wars. Star Wars. Now, everyone likes Star Wars. Now, this isn't really a Star Wars story, but we can kind of oh, say. There, I, there was Star. There was there was stuff on there. Galactic. Yeah. Makeover. I saw I saw stars on there. Not wars. No, just but stars. there were stars. Stars. Uh, we have we a. Could, we could reason that they were warring. Not yet. You can't prove that they aren't. True. I mean, they're stars after all. Not celebrities. No one knows what's in the stars. That'd be weird. Anyways, we have Henry uh, Grable. He's a twenty year, two year old, not twenty, two year old from Des Moines, Iowa. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I said that state right. It's just you said Iowa, correct? Yes. I, I would hope so. I don't know if I said Des Moines. Um, yes, you did. <laughs> it's not Des Moines. <laughs> I probably would have been the guy a couple years ago to say that. Uh, but he is actually, ha he has a rare chromosome abnormally. Ab abnormality. Abnormality. Thank you. I have problems saying big words. That causes him to have hypotonia, which reduces muscle strength and makes it difficult to walk. Um, so he was given a walker. He's not a big fan of it. I don't think a lot of people would. Uh, but he's just not strong enough. But... It's kind of a you know interesting device. I've seen some people that use them. Walkers, yes. Mm -hmm. But we have uh, this guy with his. I don't know if his name is Gerger or Jerger. Why didn't you call or an S? Gerger. I didn't what have. What kind of journalism is this? You didn't I, even call and ask the guy how to say his name. I don't even know. It's G E R G E R. So it's either Gerger, Jerger, or Gerger. Why don't you type it into Google and see how they pronounce it? <laughs> I don't. I didn't have no time. But what kind of sloppy journalism is this, Chris? He's a he's a tattoo artist in the area that Mr. Henry uh, is from. So this tattoo artist gave his whole entire walker a galactic star makeover. He took it from his shoes that he had ordered and he's currently wearing, and he says, "I want to make that walker look like your shoes." And so he did that. And he doesn't let anybody touch his walker. Yeah. It is only his. And I think this is kind of cool because Gerger has now... He's been doing face painting and he's also done casts, like uh, mm -hmm. arm casts, leg casts, uh, painting as well on that as well. So it's kind of cool what he does and he made this makeover. Uh, on And now he has something... Henry has something that he likes. Yeah, it's super cool. That's great that someone takes their talents and does something to help uh, make people's lives not so terrible. We've seen that a lot with uh, disabilities. Is a lot of people have been stepping up and making sure that these kids have something. Yeah, I, I honestly, I think that it's more just the way the internet is, runs now. Is this kind of stories get picked up more mm -hmm. often than they used to. We've been seeing a lot of cop stories, a lot of um, disability stories, uh, people hiking or walking a certain amount of, you know miles uh to raise money and we've just been seeing a lot more of this yeah there's a lot of good people out there in the world and we're sitting here telling you about them and we're very thankful mm -hmm. we're thankful that there's good people in the world we're thankful that there's good people in the world that we can tell stories and bring them to you so you can write recognize yeah because we like our viewers 
All five. No. We <laughs> we bring we bring good quality stories to you. Yes, with terrible quality audio <laughs> and terrible quality speaking. Well, one of us. Does. One of us. <laughs> with that, what do you say we take a break? That's fun. And uh, we'll come back. Let's talk about Jeff Bezos uh, and Blue Origin because they landed a rocket the other day. And let's also talk about the Captain America trailer. And we're going to talk about the Captain America trailer a lot, probably. Yes. We'd probably like to review the Battlefront, Battlefront too. Yeah. We've had a week to play it. We've had a f- Yeah, it's been out for a bit now, so mm-hmm. we should talk about that also. So awesome. don't go away. We'll be right back. 